Hello and welcome to another video of Draft Project. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bleed your clutch system. Here are the tools that you're gonna need. Brake fluid. Refer to your owner's manual on what specific DOT brake fluid to use. Bottle with brake fluid and a clear tube or hose. You can bleed your clutch without this, but it could take a lot longer and would create a lot of mess. A syringe to remove the old fluid out of the reservoir. An 8mm wrench to loosen the bleeder valve or whatever size of wrench that will fit your bleeder valve. First step is to remove the old brake fluid from the reservoir. Put the old brake fluid in the bottle. Fill the reservoir with new brake fluid. Reinstall the reservoir cap. Gently remove the bleeder cap. Grab your wrench and a bottle with clear tubing. The hose should be small, like a vacuum hose, to fit the bleeder valve. The goal of bleeding is to remove the old fluid and the air from the system. Insert the wrench into the bleeder valve. Next step is to insert the clear tube into the bleeder valve. Make sure that the tube is free from hose and scratches to prevent any leak. Make sure that the tube or hose is submerged into the brake fluid. The concept of this method is that when you release the pedal, the system will suck fluid instead of air. That is the reason why the hose should be submerged into the fluid. This method is sufficient and a cleaner way to bleed the system. It makes bleeding faster and a lot easier. By the time you open the bleeder valve, the pedal will automatically lock as you fully depress it. You need to pull it back once you tighten the bleeder valve. These are the steps to bleed the clutch system. After bleeding it 3 to 4 times, be sure to check the reservoir fluid level. Don't ever let the clutch master run out of fluid or else the system will suck air and you will need to repeat the process. Repeat the process until you have a firm clutch. The fluid should be clear and free from bubbles. That indicates that you are finished bleeding. Tighten the bleeder valve. Test the clutch pedal. It should be firm, not spongy. Gently remove the hose from the bleeder valve. Remove the wrench and reinstall the bleeder cap. After that, wash the area with water to remove some brake fluid, just to prevent the paint and chassis from deterioration. The last step is to test the car to make sure that the clutch system is pleated properly. 
I hope you appreciate and find this helpful. Please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Hitting the subscribe button would be a big help for me to grow my channel. As always, thank you very much and God bless.